Max had a passion for what he was doing, the way he was building his company. Um, it was an extension of him and, and it became an extension of his family. Everyone that worked here was an extension of the family, his family and people who work for Clampett Paper are part of that, that extended family. And I think Don carries that on as well. Um, there's a passion for what he's doing and I think Meredith has inherited that. Uh, Max was a taskmaster, no doubt about it, but he was looking out for the company and his customers at the same time. He was quite a legend in the industry, and he was quite innovative. One, he was a very energetic person, and he was also a very optimistic person, full of enthusiasm about what was at that time an infant in, within the industry as far as Dallas is concerned. From that time till this very time, I never knew him to have a doubt about his ability to, to succeed. Ussery Printing has had a working relationship since it began in 1955, so that's a 60-year relationship from company to company, and Clampett has been a great friend of Ussery all that time, through all of our generations. I got to work with him for 22 years. A lot of sons of fathers and businesses don't get to work with their dads that long, whether they retire or they pass away suddenly. And, you know, look, it was a gift. And that's the way I've always kind of treated it. You know, our fathers were best of friends and our families were best of friends. So what a great opportunity I had to have Max uh, mentor me in the industry. And I'm sure my father had a lot of influence on Don about the printing business, and you don't have that opportunity a lot, especially now. Don has really held true the, the traditions and kind of the, the grounded uh, business practices that Matt, Max set forth. Uh, and, uh, you know, we continue our best to hold to those today. You have to credit Max a lot for being able to instill this and to uh, develop the talents uh, or at least to give Don the opportunity to shine. And Don is his own man. Max was, uh, had, was a terrific uh, leader, certainly a terrific inspiration. But Don is, uh, take, I think, has taken the company to another level. Don did have some big shoes to fill when that day came. Uh, of course, the business, cl business climate has changed. Yesterday's clamp it paper model probably wouldn't survive today. Don had a vision, and he, he, he did exactly what I would suggest to others to do. He followed his heart. I think he's grown this business and directed this business in a fashion that his daddy would be proud of. I remember specifically the, the day after his funeral, because it was a weekday. And uh, my dad and I were very close. And I just remember that next day going like, God, I just don't know if I really want to go to work. But then it was kind of like, I, I said to myself, you know, I can guarantee you he would have wanted me to go to work. But I think what the people at Clampett needed to see really more than anything was that you know, this business was going to keep going and there wasn't going to be any, you know, any lack of effort or lack of passion for both, not only the business, but for the people that worked here that made it what it is today. We're real lucky to have Don take over the business because he brought uh, new ideas and kept Clampett way ahead of, of the industry. The key thing about the philosophy of Clampett Paper Company was the customer was always number one uh, and they'd look out for the customer. Also Clampett Paper was at the time one of the few people in the industry that was doing specification work and sheeting as well. Uh, Clampett had sheeters in all their locations, which none of our competitors had, and sheeters in all the various towns. We all also had a strong specification effort in each city throughout the state. Also, Clampett believed in having inventory, putting inventory on the floor to service their customers. Had a great reputation how they handled customers, uh, and they still do today. Don's vision of uh as he began to take over the company, I think as the as our business was changing in total, um, was very 
uh, all customer driven. What, what does the customer want? Don's passion for what his dad started, uh, I think filters through all of us. And uh, the more we can learn about paper and our processes internally and all the different divisions, what the, the paper, you know, the, the print community and design community needs, uh, you know, the better we can serve, and I think that's what it's all about, is serving, right? It's Clamp that offers that to its employees, and hopefully we give it back to everybody that we do serve. They do a really good job of training their spec reps. I mean, when, when one of, uh, well, when someone comes in the door and they're from Clamp it, they represent the company extremely well. They know, they know the merchandise, they really understand the paper lines, and they show that they're able to present it in a, in a way that uh, that makes them part of, actually makes them part of, not just the, from the merchant side, but they become part of Nina. They become part of Mohawk, and, and it's uh, you know they really are well trained, and that starts from the top down. Clampit has always been kind of on the front edge of specification. Uh, they were very present in the market, and that's where I really started to run into the Clampit name was at my clients, not necessarily the rep that called on us, which was Don's brother Dick, but it seemed like every client I went to see, uh, there was a Clampett rep that had already been there. My dad was a visionary, let's make no mistake about that. He was doing stuff, you know, ahead of his time. The converting room is another example, you know, but the paper school was really started out to train our own people because if you're not more educated than the people you're calling on, you're no value. You know, he said, well, let's just take this one step further. Let's help our customers understand paper. It's morphed over the really, as we've probably been doing it, what, 60 years? And it really is well received. We hardly have to market it anymore. But it's probably one of the best things we do for the community. We teach a class and there's uh, 20, 25 people. If one person out of that class becomes a Knowledge, more knowledgeable in paper and, and specifies our paper and clamp it paper in the end, we've done our job. We didn't know a lot about paper when we got into offset. We knew some, something about most, a little bit about a little bit of everything, but we didn't really know paper like most printers knew paper. So we were on a learning curve. So with the help of our sales rep and the people here at clamp it, it it became a fast education and I feel like I know as much or maybe a little more than most people know about papers. In the paper business, to see somebody's eyes light up when they see, they walk in that sample room and they see how many different types of paper there are and they had no idea, it was just, it's just to watch that, it's kind of a heartwarming thing, you know. Clampett is the paper company that you could go to for that unusual paper, the one that's just not white coated 100 pound cover. It's an unusual paper. It's got a special feel or a touch and um, they like to discuss how that paper can carry out a theme or it can move the printed piece a little further along. It's pretty important to have that kind of a relationship with, um, with the paper house, someone that you trust to give you those suggestions. I began to see a real divergence in how paper merchants go to market. So there's some merchants that said, we'll buy a lot of bulk paper, we'll stock it, it's all white, it's all deep in inventory and it's cheap. And I thought, you know, if I'm gonna spend the rest of my life here in this building and doing what I'd love to do, that's not top of my list. So I thought, what would be the opposite of that that could make it fun for me and everybody around? And that's kind of was the driving force behind the creative center and the sample room and kind of creating a 360 of graphics and collaboration. Clampett's an open door. I mean, I can pick up the phone, I can shoot over there and, and say hi or pick up what I needed. Um, it's not by appointment. It's not, I gotta call somebody to call somebody. Um, if I've got a problem, I know who to call. <laughs> if I've got a bigger problem, I know who to call. So, um, yeah, they're very good at kind of helping us work through things, um, good, bad, and ugly. Max was here in 1994 in the middle of an airport season and I still have the letter that he gave me um, after I did the AMX annual report. He thought the creativity in the book was amazing and it was a flip book and you had to flip the pages up and you made different people out of the book and 
he just wanted to let me know that he appreciated the creativity and that thanks for using Mohawk Superfine and um, it was just amazing for a designer that was I was so young to get a letter from someone at, an, at a company like Clamp and Paper. There's no doubt that organizations like the DSVC would not continue to survive and to thrive really if it weren't for the involvement of Clamp and Paper Company. They've done so much to support us and it's, it's really incredible when you think about the scale at which they give not only in terms of paper and supplies for us to the club to help us run things and make things pretty, but just so much of their time and their energy and their effort into getting involved with, with the club and with the creative community. It's what really helps us succeed as an organization and um, it really goes to show how much they're really in it for the long haul. They're not just in it to donate some paper here and there, but they're really in it about building those relationships and supporting the community and supporting the people. And that's what is just so special about them. You have a, a new generation starting in this company uh, and how, how the company stays the same and changes through that time frame. Um, again, un unlike other companies in our business, there are people of all ages in all different positions of, of responsibility and authority in this company. And as uh, the guard changes from the second generation to the third generation, uh, I'm excited to see how that, how that progresses. I mean, this company is all about the people. The people make this company who it is. And um, it's changed over the years so much, but they've been able to grow. And it's still just as amazing today as it was when we first started working with these guys. That's one of the many things that I love about Clampett Paper because I think it starts from the top down and Don Clampett has always been so involved with his customers and the community and I consider Clampett Paper my family. When you have a company that, that goes from depression to the, the, you know, the, the pinnacles of business and, and back again, uh, and helps companies along that in in 2016, 75 years later, that Clampett should be given the highest uh, consideration for uh, purchasing paper from them because of everything that they do for us. They're the only ones who offer a training facility for the new people, new marketing people that come in that uh, you know only know the internet and don't know anything about paper. No, no other paper merchant uh, in the area does that. It, it's a slap in the face to the commitment of our business for uh, companies not to think of Clampett first. As long as I'm buying paper, I'm gonna buy it from Don. It's that simple. Uh, trust, service, reliability, friendship, um, value, partnership, there's a lot of words for that. Um, but he's my go-to guy. Well, it's real simple. Clampett sells paper, and in the sales cycle, um, the first one to trust wins. Don gained my trust 30 years ago, and I haven't wavered since. Congratulations to Clampett Paper for 75 year anniversary. Congratulations, Clampett Paper, on 75 years. Congratulations on 75 years. Congratulations on 75 years. Congratulations on 75 wonderful years, and thanks for letting me be part of it. Congratulations, Clampett Paper, on 75 years. Congratulations, Clampett Paper, for 75 years of taking care of the customer. Congratulations, Clampett, on 75 years. Awesome work. I just want to say congratulations, Clampett Paper, for the 75 years of success, and I'm glad I've been able to be a part of it. Congratulations, Clampett. 75 years. Way to go. Congratulations on turning 75. Um, I look forward to seeing where you guys go from here, and I know you'll be around in another 75 years. Congratulations, guys. 75 years is incredible. You've set the bar for how a business should, should serve its community, and I am just so thrilled to know you as friends and uh, to feel like part of the Clampett family. Congratulations. Congratulations to Clampett Paper and everyone at Clampett Paper for 75 years of exceptional service to the printing community and the city of Dallas.